Okay, so that will is, is definitely is, is going to be like the, the POS. Well, I mean, uh, the POC, the proof of concept nowadays for the customer side and for the learning purpose. So, so DevNet provides resources kind of across the, the, the continuum of when you might get into programmability. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that's really has been unique about DevNet from when we first launched was we recognize that our, our typical audience, right, the, the network engineers, the infrastructure administrators, the IT guys um, that are getting into programmability are probably, they may have taken a comp side class or something like way back mm -hmm. in the day, but they, they don't have that developer background. They don't have the experience with, um, with, with programming that a typical developer might. And so from, as a developer program for Cisco, we knew right from the get-go, we had to provide materials for folks that were brand new to automation, to development, to all of these areas. And so if you're a, a new, if you're a, a traditional network engineer new to programmability, you mm -hmm. can come to DevNet and find things, uh, we typically call them kind of the programming fundamentals or the, the coding 101 um, types of material. So we can help you right from the very beginning. If, you're, if you've never done any development or if you're, you're back into development and just getting started, we've got stuff to help you right from the ground floor. And then as you become more sophisticated and, and have higher use cases, we're building and have content to kind of move yourselves up the stack. And so our, our goal is to provide material for, for everybody from the very beginner to the folks that have more experience and are looking for advanced use cases and documentation. And so DevNet, we, we strive to be a resource across that spectrum. Mm, perfect. Yeah, that, that is just like is the Cisco learning, you know, I mean, still still going nowadays for people you know, doing CCNA or CCMP, mm -hmm. or even CCIE is, is kind of community. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, different between the cloud and the DevNet. Sure. So it's it's there's it always pops up. So D Cloud or, or Cisco's Demo Cloud is a service that's provided um, out of the sales organization inside of Cisco to help with customers and and partners and, and even Cisco engineers get hands on with different Cisco technologies and, and understand their use cases. Um, D Cloud demonstrations come with kind of um, curated lab guides and, and demo guides that you can walk through. And, and while you can deviate from those guides, they tend to be kind of built with this concept of, of hey, come in and test drive these features on this product and, and understand what the product delivers. Um, DevNet is not designed to be a sales tool, though we certainly see several folks using some of the DevNet resources as part of um, understanding products as part of kind of that, that overall understanding and sales process. Our mission statement rather is to help provide um, developer access to technologies and information. Mm -hmm. And so one of the resources that DevNet has is we have, we have uh, documentation and portals and code samples and all of that, but we also have what we call the DevNet Sandbox, which is actually the, the team I work on specifically these days. And DevNet Sandbox is a completely free, and, and I'll repeat that again, it's a completely free service. Everything on DevNet is, is free services. Mm -hmm. And it's a cloud service to gain access to the, the different platforms you might want to develop or test against. And so you can come to DevNet Sandbox, and if you're experimenting with um, the, the APIs on Cisco DNA Center or within uh, NXOS or iOS XE or iOS XR, WebEx Teams, UCS, ACI, kind of the whole gamut, you can come to DevNet Sandbox and reserve one of our sandboxes, which are, are kind of built and curated specifically for those developer style use cases. And so we provide um, the platforms with the APIs enabled, we provide develop, we typically call them dev boxes or developer workstations that have the typical developer toolkit. They've got Python installed, they've got Git installed, um, they've got different uh, different things like Docker ready to go. And so our sandboxes are designed kind of with that that target market of, of folks interested in, in playing with the APIs, developing code, building applications on them. Um, one of the other things that we'll find in DevNet Sandbox that doesn't always pop up inside of dCloud is we, we tend to try to put materials out there that might be a bit... Um, Kind of bridging that that line between Cisco specific technologies and some of the, the things in the open source community, and so we've got several sandboxes that cover topics like Kubernetes, um, developer concepts like CI/CD, um, blockchain um, pops up occasionally, 
yeah. machine learning, artificial intelligence, like a lot of those different types of topics that may not be kind of very core Cisco demo pieces that you find in dCloud. Um, they kind of fall into our mission statement inside of DevNet um, on that side as well. So. Okay.